What's up guys? Good to see you today on this Friday. Wow, I started this video just in time. I was about to tell y'all, today is like Christmas. We got a lot of new stuff coming in. And as soon as I hit record, here comes the first and one of the coolest things that's gonna be coming through the gates today. So this is the new prototype Roto Chopper B66L, I think it is. Check this bad mama jamma out. Yep, so that's the B66L. So today we've got that, well, which is already here. We've got a radial stacker coming and we've got a um, slightly used Hyundai 955 loader. So we're broke, but we got some cool stuff that's gonna be coming through the gate today. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna fire this thing up. I literally just pulled into the landfill, hit record, it came through the gate. Not sure if we can fire it up today, but for sure here in the coming days, we're gonna get that girl up and running. So it's a demo. What Rotochopper is gonna do is just use our site as kind of a hub to bring in customers so that they can show off their new machine. But I am just, I'm stoked, man. Today's the best Friday ever. It's like Christmas, we got new toys coming through the gate. Let's go check this thing out. Hey, Feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas, all that good stuff. Check that bad girl out, man. Sure. I know. I like them with the black paint on them. I like that. Huh? I'm sure it's it's going to get red soon. So, oh, yeah. Roto Chopper with all the prototype uh, models, they're all just uh, black. And I guess once they get done doing the whole demo thing, then they'll take it back to Minnesota and give her the famous Roto Chopper red. But I'm excited. Well, let's go back there and check this thing out, dude. Let's do it, man. Mark the Drone Man Rosier. How you doing today, Bubba? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm good. I'm just going to come over here and make you nervous. Oh, you did. And, and watch it and see if we crash because that gets good uh that gets good views too. Oh man, then you had to buy me another one. <laughs> that thing looks awesome, man. Yeah it does. I'm excited. I'm gonna head back there and check her out. Alright, sounds good. Y'all, it's a little windy up here today. I've got this new contraption on my GoPro, so hopefully the wind noise won't be too bad. But we're headed back now to uh the mulch yard. Check out this new roto chopper, the landfill. Is hopping again today as usual. I see trucks lined up up on top. Block production's in full swing, but man, it's gonna be a fun day today. I love getting new stuff. Hey, paying the bills, but love getting new stuff. So, we bought the new stacker that's gonna show up sometime today, as well as the uh, the used 955 uh, loader. The rotor chopper, unfortunately, isn't gonna stay. I don't know what the price tag on that jewel is, but I'm sure it. Uh, I'm sure it's up there, especially for this brand new um, unit. It's got a little bit more horsepower. We're gonna find out all about it here in just a little bit. I don't know the details. I think it has a slightly larger in feed, but definitely it's got a, a few more horsepower. I think think this may be a 1200 horsepower unit. We're gonna find out right now. Pulling up to Gringo as we speak, and uh, let's see where he went. On down this way. Can we keep it? Can we keep it? Hey, you're the boss. <laughs> hey, if, maybe if we get one trillion views on this video, we could we could keep it. But that's probably go. about what it would take. Look at you wearing gloves and everything today, dude. Oh man, I'm gonna keep my pretty hands clean because <laughs> I'm gonna go to lunch in just a minute. Oh, okay, that's right. It's Mexican. It's Friday. Yeah, it's Mexican day. Ah, oh, check this beast out right here. So it was down in Florida, I believe, and um, they sent the driver from Minnesota all the way down to Florida to pick it up. And here she sits right here. So this old truck right here has seen some miles here in the past couple days. Mark, what'd you, what'd you say been thrown through it? Palm, palm, palm fronds. Palm fronds. Yeah. Okay. In Daytona when they were demoing it at the compost shop. I right, gotcha. Well, we're going to feed it some pine and some oak and yeah. some whatever the hell else we, we, right. we can find. Put her through her paces. Oh, Aaron, he said this one's got the C32 okay. cat in it. So we got a C27 and our B66, and then this is the C32. 1250 horses, I think. Is what he said. I can't remember all the all the stats, but a hell of a lot of cat motor up there.
So Brandon's bringing some screens up and uh, we got the green light from Roto Chopper to go ahead and, uh, and feed some wood through this big girl here. So that's exciting. Can't wait to see her run. But first we got to put some screens in it. So Brandon's on the JCB bringing them up and we're going to get them installed and see what we can do. So Aaron's taking the six by eight screen out of the Roto Chopper. And we're going to put, these are what, fours? Six by six back in into it reason being Aaron was just telling me so if we run it through this six by eight screen that, they, that the roto chopper came with then it makes it a little more difficult on our uh, mc266 running larger chips through it we have to change a bunch of stuff so it's just going to be simpler to go ahead and change out the screen and the uh, big machine first do we know when the uh stackers coming in here maybe around 3 30. okay that should be in a little bit then the 955 is coming after five o'clock. Yeah. So I'll just come up here and let them let them through the gate. But got all kind of cool stuff happening around here today. Hey, there's some of the palm fronds that uh, they were grinding up down in Florida. Oh, yeah. This is from Florida, too. Yeah, we don't want that. Straight out of the ocean. <laughs> yeah, we'll send them back with that. So that's pretty much it right there. You just lay the screen in, and this cradle slides you right into place. That's it. Let the hydraulics do the work. And they were saying these are uh, weld on yeah. mounts, too, versus bolt on. Yeah. Slightly different um, rotor design, too, I believe. Yeah. It looks good. We're about to find out what it does. We're going to cut the whole tree now. Who's, who's going to be feeding this thing? I'm going to feed it. All right. No metal. It's one of the perks of being the boss around here. <laughs> Dang slick right there. Well, it's heavy, man. You know how heavy you can get. Yeah. Hey, I got a Red Bull in my pocket, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I just, it's kind of like uh, Popeye and the spinach, you know, just in case I need, <laughs> need a little extra boost. <laughs> just a little something, something. Yeah. Yeah, keep it right here. Is that a Red Bull in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? There she goes. Fall into place there. What's these little deals here do? Mm. These give uh, this cylinder here something to lock it against so keep the screen tight in there. Okay. So if we're all the way extended, you take this nut here. Nut, back it down. Screw it down on there. And then if you line these up, when you screw it down, yeah. when you're doing your inspection of your machine, you know if it's loose because if you come here and look at these and they're all over oh, the place, move a little bit, then you know, know she's backed off a little. You know okay. A little I got gotcha. you. I can't believe that Roto Chopper's gonna let this dude run this grinder. They must not watch any of our videos and know who you are. Too. These, you know, cat engines 
run as efficiently as they can. But when you're talking that many horsepower, it's just gonna drink. I mean, there's just no other way around it. I'm ready. Let's do this. that kid y'all looks like a lot of wood clearing debris has came in today we got a couple of loads stacked up right here but Aaron is tracking the uh, the new prototype around to some, some for sure clean wood because the last thing I want to do is have any metal or anything that shouldn't go through this grinder fed into it that would be a bad bad day so we're gonna be super careful about the material that we feed into it but I'm so excited, I can't wait to see this thing run. We've got our B66 running, and uh, let's go around the corner and see if we can find air. We got stuff going on everywhere up here, y'all. All the loaders are running. Our B66, B66 is running. The MC is running over there, making color. The trommel's going, and now we're fixing to have the B66L going at the same time. And it looks like they're gonna go ahead and make a little bit of room right here for the conveyor on the new Roto Chopper. Looks like we got Mr. Austin up in the 960 Hyundai making us a, making us a little bit more room because I expect to see some chips coming off that conveyor at a pretty good rate. So I can't fuss at me this time. Got my hearing protection, got my hard hat on. And while I went to the truck to uh, grab my equipment, they're already feeding the first pieces of wood through the B66L. So let's go up here and check it out.
which way to look today, guys. We got stuff happening all over the place, man. It's certainly a fun Friday, but the office just called and said our new radial stacker just showed up. So let's run up here, let them follow us back so we can at least get it offloaded. But I'm gonna have to show you all that on another video. It's just too wide open, man. We got things going on everywhere. How's it going, buddy? You want to follow me and we'll go get her offloaded? Yeah, good. All right, that's a good looking machine. Let me spin around and you can just follow me back. Well, here she is, guys, our new Edge Stacker. We're going to have, uh, so this will be our, our third stacker back there. We're going to have stockpiles everywhere. But I'm going to get looped around here, let this fella follow us back, and uh, go ahead and get her offloaded. It is wide open today. Well, we got our new uh, Edge radial stacker, so we'll have to do a video on that in the upcoming days. I'm gonna get out and watch Aaron uh, feed the B66L a little bit more. I just want to jump back on here and explain because I've just been it's been a crazy day today. So this B66L is a prototype from our friends up at Roto Chopper, and so we're gonna run it, put it through its paces. They can then bring you know clients from the southeast over to uh to watch it run but that thing is really eating some material man i'm impressed i will be sad to see it go we're going to get out and watch aaron for just a little bit longer run it i appreciate you guys watching uh this is more than likely going to be a two-part or three-part video because there's just so much happening but uh certainly do appreciate you guys hanging out with me today and all the days that you do hit that like and subscribe down there for me we'll see you on the next video